Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to another Astro Chat episode. Today I wanted to tackle the very big question about Venus. Why is she exalted in Pisces? Let's take a look at this. I know this has been raised many times before and I am just going to give you this idea about it. These are just my thoughts. I'm definitely not a scholar or any of that. I just, uh, I am a practicing Vedic astrologer. I read charts for a living and because of that I think about these things a lot and I'm just sharing my thinking with you. So why is Venus exalted in this place? So where is she exalted? Let's draw where she's exalted. She is exalted here. She's extremely happy up here. And I'll give you a sample chart of someone who has this. Princess Mary Donaldson has exactly this. I've just got her chart on the screen now. She's got a beautiful, I mean, you don't get much more exalted than that. It's, it's, it's exalted in Pisces in the 12th house in miracle degree. Okay, so it's, it's just extraordinary. And if you look at her life, it has been absolutely incredible. She ended up marrying the Crown Prince of Denmark. She, and she was given all the world's best jewels that she just wears. And her work is very, it, it's, see, I don't, I don't wanna say that she doesn't work because I, I know that these people do do lots of stuff and that's not the right thing to say. But um, another person I'm thinking of in this regard is also Paul McCartney. I'll bring his chart up quickly for you and you can have a look. I believe he's got Rahu in the 12th. Uh, and the Lord of the 12th is in the 10th. Now, this is an interesting thing here as well because his future, his uh, project, like his trajectory for the future when I was looking at this concept of what is Pisces and I started to look at Paul McCartney's chart and I thought, hang on a minute, didn't he just like work for 10 years? Because when I was studying him and John Lennon in the Masters series, I'll put a link to that above, I realized that, yeah, he just kind of worked for 10 years when he was doing the Beatles. He, he worked for 10 years and I'm sure he worked very hard. Uh, I'm sure he was working around the clock. But then after that, he didn't have to do much work. You're going to see where I'm going with all this in a moment. And I, I think he did work. He did do a solo career and he would have worked. But like, it's not hard work. It's not, you're not digging a ditch. You're doing something that you would love to do. And you're working in the best environment, the best conditions, the best of everything. So Mary Donaldson and Paul McCartney, these are good lives to keep in mind as, as we discuss what's happening here. So we're going to take a look at why is Venus exalted in the 12th house. Now we're, we're going to do this by looking at the transits. Where is she happy via transit? So when she's transiting the 12th house, well, she's, she's kind of double happy here. Let's put two stars there. Okay, so she's happy there. When she goes through the first house, she's happy. Second house, she's happy, probably shopping. <laughs> Third house, she's probably meeting friends, having a good time there, she likes that. Fourth house, happy, probably buying a new car, I don't know. Uh, in the fifth, happy, meeting up with a boyfriend. Now sixth, she doesn't like being in the sixth. Seventh, she doesn't like being there. Eighth, she's happy. Again, partner or something, I don't know. Uh, ninth, she is happy, which is interesting. But anyway, tenth, she doesn't like being here. Eleventh, well, everybody loves being in the eleventh. Everybody transits beautifully there. Everyone's having a good time there. So let's take a look at the houses where she doesn't like being. Because Venus is a good time gal. She is the most happy as she travels in transits she's she's she kind of and she gives the most joy everywhere she goes i am saying she i know in vedic astrology they're all considered male 
moon, Venus, it's all male, I know, but I am just going to say she, I hope that's all right, because I did study Vedic, uh, Western astrology as well, and I, I believe that you know many astrologers would refer to um, moon and Venus as she, and I do, because I do um, see the feminine qualities uh, of those two are, are quite pronounced. Now, where is she not happy? She's not happy here in the sixth. Okay, the seventh and the tenth. What happens in these places? Well, you work there. And Venus doesn't like work. <laughs> she doesn't want to do work. Now, the sixth house, this is career, this is service. You work hard here. You have to, and it's a bit grubby. You have to deal with competitors. And, you know, if you've ever been in a court, I appeared once in a court as a witness, like for good people who needed someone who'd speak the truth and I was willing to do that. And yet yeah, courts are a bit kind of, they're a bit grubby environments as well. And, they're, and they're, the vibe, like I'm just talking about the vibe. I mean, it was clean, but like, it's just, yeah, it's not, it's not great. So it's hard work in here in the sixth, right? The seventh, you'd think that Venus would love being here. I mean, she created this. She created the marketplace. Okay, this is her house. But she created it not to work in it. I think she created it to buy cool stuff. I mean, that's what she wants. She, she wants to buy the stuff, but she doesn't want to do the hard work. The other thing is that this is marriage as well and it's commitment and all that kind of thing. Again, marriage and commitment and some of these things, they're hard work. Marriage is a bit of a merger as well. We've talked about that on this channel. Tenth, what goes on here? Again, it's work, right? This one here doesn't like to do any work. So that is what I discovered that I think Venus is exalted here in the twelfth because she doesn't like working and this is the place of and you remember that episode fantasy thinking right this is a place of fantasies this is a place of holidays this is a place of escape this is a place of where you are looked after okay you might be in a hospital you might be in prison but you're still being looked after you don't have to worry about the electric bill or you don't have to worry about anything it's all done for you she loves this. She is exalted here. She doesn't want to lift a finger. And this is the place where she does not have to. So that is my overview of that question. I think I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to keep it short and sweet, guys. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Maybe this is going to create some form of debate. I don't know. But yeah, I, I do see that Venus is exalted in this place because she is being looked after. And who is looking after her? Well, it's the one who built the house, which is Jupiter, okay? And Jupiter has built a magnificent house here. I mean, I think she does have a reasonably good time here in the ninth. She can travel, she can escape a little bit. Uh, and maybe there's a father figure here looking after her type thing, but this is the house that Jupiter built. She loves being in it because Jupiter is the husband as well who looks after. Uh, and it's this thing of, you know, she, she doesn't have to do any work. So <laughs> I hope this has been a good video for you today, guys. Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next time.